under investigation, a fight that police say broke out Friday night at a local high school football game. Good Monday evening and welcome to Western Mass News at 6. I'm Mary Wilson. Two 16-year-olds are facing criminal charges. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live in Chicopee with those exclusive details. Paris? Mary, police say it all took place at a football game Friday night here at Chicopee Comprehensive High School. Western Mass News obtained the police report, which details how two teenagers are now facing criminal charges. Western Mass News noticed concerning reports on local social media forums indicating a fight took place at the Chicopee Comprehensive High School football game on Friday night. We obtained the police report, which details the events that took place at the game. Chicopee officers responded to the school where they spoke with a 12-year-old who told him he was standing on the running track when two teenage boys approached him. He says the boy said to him, you stink, before they threw him to the ground and punched his stomach and face multiple times. The officer noted that the 12-year-old had several scrapes on his face, redness under both eyes, and a bruise on his right lower cheek. The young boy then noticed his blue iPhone was missing, and police believe the two boys involved had stolen and damaged the iPhone. They were both charged with assault and battery, unarmed robbery, and malicious damage to property $1,200 or more. Because the two involved are under the age of 18, the police would not identify them. We asked the Chicopee Police Department if security would be increased at games after this incident, and they said that that would be up to the school system. They said the school hires two officers for every game, and in order to increase security, they would need to hire more. Now we did reach out to Chicopee Comp Principal, the Superintendent's Office, the Mayor's Office and other elected officials about this issue, but we have not yet heard back. Reporting live in Chicopee, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.